Hello po at isang magandang araw. Ngayon ay September 1, panibagong start ng ating buwan. Ano? At malapit na po ang Pasko at uh, lumalamig na po ang simoy ng hangin. Welcome po sa The Stock Market Today. Yung balitang isashare po natin ngayon ay tungkol sa Philippine Inflation Forecast. At uh, bago ang lahat, ako po si Benji Chudoro, isang retired bank officer na nagsimula mag-invest sa Philippine Stock Market. Noong 2007 po ako nag-start at araw-araw ko pong binabalita ang ating latest news tungkol sa inyong paborit at pinaka-aktibong stocks sa Philippine Market. Two years na po tayo. August po tayo nag-start noong 2020, no? kasagsagan po ng lockdown. At uh, kung gusto niyo po ng content, ay inimbitan ko po kayo mag-subscribe sa ating channel. Kung meron po kayong stocks na gustong ipareview, pa-comment lang po sa comment box at ating ipaprioritize. Hindi po ako financial advisor. Ang mga sinasabi ko po dito ay hindi po financial advice. Get well soon to Cousin Murray. We're praying for your quick recovery. And welcome Adrian. Mari's favorite daughter. Huwag kayong alis dahil babahagi ko sa inyo ang ating financial headlines sa ang resulta ng trading sa ating PSA ngayong araw, September 1, 2022. Dito lamang sa The Stock Market Today. Okay, ang ating financial headlines ay galing po ng BDO Securities. BSP forecasts 59 to 6.7% inflation in August. Ito po ang ating main news. Infrastructure social programs get bulk of unprogrammed 2023 funds. Ito po ay uh, tinatalakay ngayon sa Congress, ano? Ano kaya ang ibig sabihin ng un unprogrammed funds? So, walang hindi pinlano? Uh, yun yung quick, ano eh, quick take ko dyan, ano? Or quick question ko dyan, ano? Bank lending growth steady at 12% in July 2022. BPO sector sees 10% revenue growth in 2022 targets 1.1 million new jobs by 2028. And DOE review of Malapaya deal to conclude this year. Ngunit ang ating main news ay nandito po sa ating uh, Phil Star. No? BSP says inflation in August likely at 5.9 to 6.7. But uh, I'll be reading the summary from BDO Securities. No? The BSP forecast inflation to settle within the range of 5.9 to 6.7% in August from 6.4 in June primarily due to continued increase in key food prices. However, the central bank noted that this could partly be tempered by the decline in global oil prices, reduction in electricity rates, lower meat and fish prices, as well as peso appreciation. Recall that the BSP in its August 18 policy meeting raised the 2022 inflation forecast from 5.0 to 5.4. The BSP will also have its next policy meeting on September 22. Yan po ang ating main news. Ano? At I, I think it is within target no, to inflation natin. And... Uh, the rate increases will continue until December. Okay, another one is itong unprogrammed 2023 funds. Ano? Majority of the unprogrammed appropriation under the 2023 national budget will go to infrastructure. And this is now being discussed in Congress according to the 
Department of Budget and Management, 588.1 billion worth of unprogrammed funds, which are 380 billion pesos will go to foreign assisted projects, and of which 378.2 will be for the Department of Transportation, and the remaining 2.2 billion will be allocated for the Department of Social Welfare Development. 149.6 billion will be for the infrastructure projects and social programs, which also include acquisition of more vaccines. Ah, okay. So, unprogrammed nga yun. Pero dapat may na-factor in na rin yun, ano? Na part of the budget, kasi every six months ang vaccination eh. 20.6 billion is all allocated to support government-owned and controlled corporations and 18.9 billion set aside for public health emergency benefits for workers. Yan po ang ating main news. And uh, okay, so let's now go to the Philippine Stock Exchange Index. But before that, let me check if we have anything Okay, so let's now proceed to the Philippine Stock Exchange Index. Yan. So let's just put up our indicators. Kung flat ah. Flat siya, no? Although green candlestick, 4.63 points lang po ang taas ng index from a red candlestick last Friday, no? or 0.07%. So, napakaliit lang po ng akyat ng ating index. Yung ating market activity, 96 ang bumaba, 87 ang umabante, 46 ang hindi nagbago. Pero yung all share natin ay bumaba, 0 0.08. No? Positive yung index natin na 0 0.07, negative 0 0.08 naman. So, mukhang nagka-counter balance, no? Almost flat din, ano? Yung ating sectoral indices ay mixed, no? Yung nasa positive side ay financials, holding companies, industrials, at mining. At uh, pinangunahan po ito ng holding companies, 1.14% ang idinagdag, pero ang properties at services ay bumaba. Ang properties ay bumaba ng 2.6 or 2.06 percent. So, mix po. No? So, ang PSE index ay nasa 6588.28 ngayon. So, makita po natin na yung ating short at saka long term ay just piercing through the candlestick. Samantalang yung ating medium term ay nasa ilalim pa. So, meaning on the medium term side, ay bullish pa rin po ang ating index. Yan po. Pero yung RSI po niya ay nasa midpoint po lamang. So, tignan po natin ang ating uh, i-re-review today and anin po ang re-reviewin nating stocks. So, magsimula po tayo sa gitna. No? Magsimula po tayo kay BDO. URC, SM, Ayala Corporation, at TEL. So, mixed po yung ating titig ng stocks today. No? At uh, before we proceed, there's one comment here. Sabi ni Raquel Robrigado, Sir, may fixed amount ata tong mga preferred share. Baka di ko pa kayanin sa ngayon, mag-inquire na lang po ako sa BPI. Ah, okay. So, just curious, ano? Anong preferred share ang tinutukoy natin? Ito po yung Ayala Corporation, San Miguel. These two stocks ay merong preferred shares, no? But if you have other preferred share, pwede mong tignan sa Investagrams, no? So, halimbawa, Ayala Corporation, Ayala Preferreds, halimbawa, preferred class A example lang ha? yan po siya at makikita nyo yung lot size dito eh. and board lot number of shares is 10 ang ibig sabihin po niyan yan board lot ay minimum of 10 shares ang pwede nyo bilhin and in multiples of 10 
So, pwede kayong bumili ng 10, 20, 30, 40 multiples of 10 shares. Pero kung 15, 16, hindi po po pwede. Kasi may lot size po yan. But the minimum number that you can buy is 10 shares. Yan po. Ang isang example ng preferred share. SMC. Tingnan natin, natin si SMC. Meron din siyang preferred Example na to, no? Preferred 2A. Yan ang SMC Preferred Series 2A Preferred uh, SMC. Nagdodoble yung aking sinasabi. SMC 2A Preferreds. Lot size po niyan ay 10 din. Sa 74. So meaning that the minimum number that you can buy from your broker is 10 shares times 74 yung current price. 740 pesos lang. Yan po ang ibig po sabihin ng mga board lots. No? And in multiples of 10. Okay, so let's now take a look at BDO. Okay, salamat Raquel sa inyong comment. So, BDO muna tayo. Yan. Okay, BDO is up today, up 1 peso 70 centavos. Pero mukhang nag-ano lang siya, no? Nag- Nag-hover lang siya within the resistance level at nandito po siya sa bandang 131 no? or 131 to 132 ang resistance level po niya at bullish po si BDO sapagkat yung ating mga moving averages ay nasa ilalim na po ng ating candlestick at meron po siyang dividendo 30 pesos to be given this September 30. And then, the support, I guess we can place a support here, the nearest one, would be here, ay nandito po sa area ng to, nasa 124. Yun po ang pinaka-support level, support and resistance, di yung exact points. Ito po ay area. The next is URC. Uy, nagko-consolidate lang siya. So, nagko-consolidate lang siya sa area ng to. At, ito po yung area of consolidation niya. Yan. Yan yung area of consolidation niya. So, after having a breakout here, no? Three successive days of breakout. Actually, yung breakout natin, no? Nag-start dito. Tapos, nagko-consolidate lang po siya. August 1 po ang start ng kanyang breakout. So, yung lower support level, actually, yung lower support nasa 121 level, ano? And the resistance is near that level also, nasa 126 to 127 po ang resistance ni URC. And kung titignan naman natin yung presyo ni URC, and fundamentally, Ang target price po niya is 145 or an 18.9% upside. Okay? Yan po si URC. Pero ang San Miguel Food and Beverages, nasa 86%. Oh. Ang Converge, 72.4% upside. Oh. Pero ang San Miguel Foods ang pinakamalaki right now. No? Nasa 86%. Then... Metro Pacific. Dati ito pinakamataas eh. 60.9%. Naunahan na siya ni Mega World. Nasa 68%. Ano? And then, Alliance Global, 79% upside. Ano? Nasa 10.4 lang. Okay. Next, after URC, tingnan natin si SM. SM just moving sideways. Short, red candlestick po siya. Pero mas mataas po ang kanyang closing price kahapon. Kaya po green no, or 9 pesos gain po dito. At nasa support level po siya. Nandito po ang support ni SM. Nasa 840 yung um, pressure niya ngayon. And the nearest resistance ay nandito sa 878. Pero it's just moving, it's bullish to sideways, actually, yung galaw niya, no? RSI nasa 50, so almost, well, midpoint lang po ang galawa ni SM. 
Again, fundamentally, tingnan natin si SM Investments Corporation, 31.2% upside. Yan po. Then, si Ayala Corporation. Maganda bumili ng Ayala. Uy! 4.42% up si Ayala. And, hopefully, uh, recovery na ito. Meron siyang bounce. Eh? For two days, ay nag-consolidate po siya dito sa 700 level. Ano? Ngayon, nasa 733 na. So, I would say na yung pinaka-support niya ay eto na. Yan po, no? Nasa 700 to 702 ang pinaka-support. And yung next resistance level ay meron po ko nakikita dito sa tuktok dito. Nasa 772 pesos. So, maganda po yung movement ni Ayala sapagkat ang RSI niya ay tumaas na sa 58 na po. Tapos naman, tingnan natin si Tel. Tel is another good stock. Uy, bumaba siya. Bumaba si Tel. At meron siyang dividendo. Ha? Meron siyang dividendo. Ang payout date niya is September 5. At magkano ba yung dividendo niya? Tingnan natin. So, 47 plus 28. Meron siyang 75 pesos per share na dividend to be given on Monday, September 5. That is, kung nakabili kayo before the X date, August 15. Yan. Okay. So, tignan natin yung support and resistance niya using Investagrams. Yan. Ang pinaka higher resistance niya nandito, which I agree, no? nandito po siya sa 8.28. Pero yung pinaka support level niya ay nandito sa meron sa 15.98 at saka sa 16.48 but we will be taking the higher support ano? 16.48 po ang the higher support level and the higher resistance ay nasa 18.28 at yan pero mababa po yung kanyang RSI no? bearish po ang dating ni Tel so I would suggest na kung mag mag-trade po kayo ng stock, antayin nyo po muna ang bumaba sa 1648, uh, ano? 1648. Actually, pwede na kayong bumili sa 1650. Then, wait it, uh, wait for it to go up to 1828. And, uh, I think, meron kayong gain from there. So, yan po yung movement ni Tel. Bearish po siya at 38. So, next, tingnan natin si, ah, this is our last stock. And before we go to SCC, let me share with you this, ano, Jollibee. Hindi natin tinignan si Jollibee ngayon, but this is based on the study of uh, BDO SEC, ano. Meron siyang buy rating, mer meron siyang upside na 17.5%. Ayan, nilagyan na niya yung minimum lot size 10. Ano? Depende po kasi yan sa presyo ng stock, eh, yung lot size niya. So, pagka nag-fall siya within a range, so, sleeping lang natin si Jollibee. JFC. Ayan, nasa 239. Makikita niyo dito yung lot size. Ayan, eh, board lot is 10. And, yung kanyang PE ratio, nasa 41.3. Medyo mataas siya. No? 41.3. 3 times. No? And actually, yung P-E ratio has to be compared with the peers. Eh. But anyway, I find 41.3, the P-E of 41.3 times uh, a bit high. Okay, kasi the lower the P-E, the, the better for the stock. The, the better the number, no? the, the better the condition of the stock. But again, it has to be compared with the peer peers of Jollibee. So, Yan po, no? meron po siyang buy rating with a 17.5% upside. Okay, so balik tayo sa SCC. Si SCC ay, yan, bullish pa rin po siya. At ended with a green candlestick. Pero yung kanyang fundamentals ay, I think it's um, overvalued already. No? Seminar mining. Ah, hindi pa. 
its uh, target price is 44 or 7.1 halos wala walang gaanong upside to and neutral yung rating ni BDO sec so mukhang nare-reach na niya yung peak no yung peak ng kanyang fundamental price of 44 na sa 41.95 but pero kung mapapansin po ninyo ay bullish po si San, sa Semirara ha uh, gawa nga tayo ng parallel channel Ang parallel channel po natin ay bumabaybay dito sa 50-day exponential moving average. So, ang pinaka-support ay nasa 39.72. 37 to 39 po ang, ang support niya. At resistance following the parallel channel ay nasa 45.45. Support and resistance, di po yan exact points. Ngunit yan po ay areas. Okay, so yan po ang ating report sa stock market. Unang araw ng Setyembre, dalawang libo, dalawang po, dalawa, ito po si Benji Chidoro. Nagpapaalala, an investment in knowledge pays the best interest. Maraming salamat sa inyong pagsubaybay at hanggang sa muli. Stay safe. God bless. Bye for now.